everyone welcome to another session from bioschool this is your educator gaji so in today's session we are going to learn about allen's rule allen's rule is an eco geographical rule actually this is an extension of bergman's rule so if you want to know about bergman's rule i do have a video on that i'll put the link in the description box down below so make sure to go through that video so today's video is about allen's rule so what allen's rule it states allen's rule it states that the animals endothermic animals those are present in colder climates they have the uh, like a certain limbs and appendages like a uh, um, ears nose right then their close relatives they are present in warmer climates so please do watch the video till the end to get a clear knowledge about allen's rule so allen's rule allen's rule is an eco geographical rule and this rule It was formulated by Joel Ashraf Allen in year 1877. It is named as Allen's Rule. Okay, so what it states? Allen's Rule it states that animals adapted to cold climates. Okay, means the endothermic animals. Those are adapted to cold climates. They have shorter limbs and bodily appendages. That means they have the small nose the ears tails okay then the animals that are adapted to warm climates okay and you know this rule is an uh, extension of bergman's rule so why so why like uh, those animals are adapted to cold climates they have shorter limbs then their relatives those are present in the warmer climates because in cold climate heat loss is the major issue okay heat loss is the major is we know that in the cold climate we will find large animals large animals they have small area as they are uh, like a surface area is small it loss is the major issue in colder climate okay they have the smaller body area uh, volume is large okay their volume is large but the uh, surface area is smaller that's why thus the lesser surface area of the body relative to its size right here i have explained right they have the smaller area than to its volume so it will lose less heat from its surface okay then that will help in the lose the less heat from the uh, surfaces that's why they have uh, like uh, those endothermic animals they have the uh, smaller areas like uh, they have the smaller appendages and the smaller limbs so that smaller area that help them to survive in cold climate by using a very less amount of heat okay let's um, see this example to get a more clear idea so you can see black tailed black tailed jack rabbit and arctic hare okay so these are the cold relatives but the arctic arctic hare uh, it is present in the colder climate Uh, and black tailed jack rabbit is present in the hot climate so if you look into their appendages look to the ears the uh, limbs okay and the, as well as the tails is large in the hot climate whereas in the cold climate they have the smaller ears even the limbs as well as the tail okay they have the uh, in cold climate their surface area is less surface area is small or the surface area is small in order to prevent the heat loss okay in order to prevent the heat loss okay let's have a look on the other example gray fox and arctic fox gray fox you can see the tail is long right they they long they have long tail long limbs also they have the long ears there is arctic fox they have the uh, like uh, the tail is small also the limbs even the ears are also small okay so yeah this is uh, all about the allen's rule so those animals that, that uh, so those animals are present in the cold climate they have the small limbs and bodily appendages in comparison to the equivalent animals uh, or the close relatives that are present in the warm climate okay why so because uh, uh they uh, like the surface area is a uh, small in cold climate that actually prevent a uh, heat loss so that they can conserve or uh, more heat that will help them to 
uh, like feel warmer in cold climate okay so yeah this is all about uh, allen's rule hope this video will help you a lot if you like this video then please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel